Welcome developers to, to Ivy Mesa, your favorite channel on how to grow from becoming a beginner to becoming a pro web developer. Today I'll be showing you a simple tutorial on how to set up Tailwind inside VSS code. So without, so remember, make sure that you have got Node.js installed inside your in, inside your computer as well as your, your editor of choice. So my editor of choice is Visual Studio Code. So first of all, I'm going to start off by creating a folder. I'll be doing everything on my desktop. Let, let me come and see let me give it a title name of youtube this is the name of the vid of the folder that we shall be using then inside this folder this is folder that you have selected the next thing that you are going to do we are going to open a terminal once we have our terminal open make sure that this, this folder is empty by just typing listing then we are going to create a basic a, a new file a file called index.html Then after this one, we are going to we are going to use a command to install Tailwind CSS. So get below inside your terminal. If I can, let me just go check it up. Then I'll type npm install dash Tailwind. Tailwind CSS. Make sure that you have typed everything correctly and press enter. This will install our Tailwind CSS. Yes, this output makes the, the, that that we are seeing where it was saying edit edit to package. It depicts that our Tailwind CSS files have been created successfully. Now is the time to we are now going to configuring our Tailwind CSS file. To, to do that, we are going to use a new command that is called npx tail, Tailwind. Tailwind CSS in it. This 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 command will create a, a config file after configuring Tailwind CSS. So as you can see, the last command they is saying create a Tailwind config file. This one. Now we're going to configure the 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 Tailwind config file. As you can see, on the content value it is empty, but we're going to fill it with a, with new content. So we are going to fill it with the with the content value index.html file that we created. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl S to make sure that all your changes have been saved. Now is the time to. Now the next step is to create a file called style.css inside the same the same folder. I'm going to create a file.css file. And then I'm going to type these commands at Tailwind this. Then the next one is at Tailwind components. Then the next one is at Tailwind. utilities the above code will include best styles pre-designed components and utilities for for telling css make sure that you type you want you type you save by it. control s on your keyboard now the next step that we're going to do we're going to build a css file Called the Tailwind style CSS. So this one we're going to go inside our again our terminal, and then in our terminal we're going to type npx Tailwind CSS dash i that specifies the input and you inside the file style CSS dot css and then dash o which specify the output file to save the compiled css to new file to be created called tailwind tailwind style dot css make sure that you're typing you're following out the code and then we need a double dash for watch which 
which tells telling CSS to watch for changes in the input file. Then if everything goes okay, you tap this code, just press enter. Yeah, as you can see, we have got a, we have the, if you see this command warning what it means that a command is done, it means that everything has been done successfully. And then this output shall have a new file like this one. So what what we are now going to do is make sure that we link up inside of inside our file index to HTML. I'm just going to say doc to create a boilerplate. Then let's have let's link up to our created new the let the last created file called Tailwind CSS. Just call it dash Tailwind Tailwind style CSS. Link it up to this one. So we are now going to create a boiler coding to test our to test everything to for, to preview our code. Okay, I'm just going to use uh, h h one tags or two tags, yeah, and some button tag and some button tags for for testing button. So let me use my name. Ivin Mesa, then subscribe, subscribe, then okay. Inside this file, we are going to use boiler coding and um, let me use let's say text ember. Yes, nine hundred. And then let's enlarge in the text, text to six times six Excel large. There you can see we've enlarged the text. Let's also style our button. For the button, I'm going to say text. Let me put it to okay. Okay, let me say let me say page background Amber. 700 then uh, let's make our text small Too small let's make the font size font let's make it font let's make it thin and then let me put the text to white Okay, there you can see the coding for our button. Subscribe. So this was it Dave, on how to set up Tailwind CSS inside your official studio code. If you like my content, make sure you subscribe and press on the notification bell. Thank you.